Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna have a look at my solar collectors because they have broken. Uh, I got these solar collectors I think the year before I started my YouTube channel so back in 2013 and they have been doing pretty good, pretty good. I have hot water from about May to sometimes into October with, um, with the solar collectors. But also here when it's winter, today it's January, January the 12th, no, January the 13th. And sometimes if the sun actually uh, comes up, they will be producing hot water. It's not gonna be super hot, but it's gonna be comfortable. And it's way nicer to have comfortable water than ice cold water so I want them to be working in winter plus here in the winter it's a good time to actually work on them because they are not super hot so uh, let's see the problem here the solar collectors are connected in series that means that the water comes uh, in down here it goes through the solar collector and goes up here and goes out and goes in the bottom of this one and goes up to here and then it goes down into the bottom of this one and then it does the, does the same thing here and it goes into the house this pipe here but this pipe in between has broken uh, you can kind of see that this is the metal pipe and that's supposed to be insulated so I want to do that again here it is you can kind of see that well it's broken I had a uh, gaffer tape this insulation but even the the insulation itself has broken and became has become very fragile so I've got some new one also same thing it's going on over here exposed metal not that great so hmm the problem with this is that these connections up here they're very hard to get a uh, leak not leaking so that's always a problem Let's see if i can remove this i have put it on with zip ties or not exactly zip ties okay i guess i've put it on from the back Okay, let's see what I did. Yeah. Okay, that's loose. Should I go do the other one? I might as well. I made it. Okay. I went in and got some gloves. It's pretty cool out here. And a knife. That is free and this is wasted definitely not good for anything <clears throat> so we need to put something new on there bought this rubbery material and that's meant to go on there but it's really meant to go over I really don't want to take that apart so I was wondering if I would be able to cut this up put it on and glue it back on and that's, I think that's what I'm gonna try. 
cut this up, glue it on, and have the have the seam, the the cutting part on the back of it. Uh, let's go to the basement and see if we can do that. So in the basement, um, I think the easiest thing would be to to cut this open. I have a scissor here. Pair, have a pair of scissors here. So, but I wanted it to go so that it's definitely on on the back. So I need to put a line on this. Um, I think to make sure that it when I when I if I use the scissor, there's a chance that it will turn around for me, and I don't want that. So. Oh, maybe we can just put a piece of tape on here. I'll try that. Okay, that's that's not bad. It has a straight line all the way down through it. So I'll just cut next to the tape. See if that's doable. Uh, these pieces of insulation are 10 bucks a piece, US dollars ish. Actually, a little bit more, so um, they are quite pricey. Okay, not bad. Okay, I have some glue here, and this is of course, well, you don't start a project. I didn't, I didn't know if I was gonna need the glue, so I didn't think that far ahead. Uh, so this glue is really one of the glues you have to apply to one side and let it dry up for 10 minutes, I think it says, five to 10 minutes and the other side at the same time and then after five and ten minutes you can put the two pieces together and they will glue together um, I don't think I can do that um, so I'm just gonna apply the, the glue and then we're gonna put a piece of tape over it for it to to hold tight together uh, the solution that I have up there that has lasted two years um, so if this could last another two years, well, I'm not gonna be complaining much. See, it looks, this looks fine. Cool. Let's uh, let's go up there. Oh, it's so much nicer down here in the basement. Oh, it's it's pretty cool outside today. It's probably gonna be a bit windy up here, so let's see if this is doable. If I can put any glue on. Put those together. I think I want a piece of tape at the top. Well, this might look easy. It's it's really not that easy because it's bloody cold. And my hands are freezing. But I'm getting there. And the camera battery don't like the cold either, so it's complaining already. Even though we haven't been filming much. 
so I'll finish this up and we'll just see the end result in a second or two. Okay, I have it all covered up again. Um, I could do the next one, but I'm frozen already, so I'll wait until another good day to do that one because, yeah, I'm frozen. Okay, we're inside again. The camera has had a chance to, um, to get some power again. And this is, <laughs> this is the result of my old insulation here. Oh, there's a lot of dead flies inside of that. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't mess with that too much. Don't want those to spill up. But this insulation here was probably not UV resistant. So it has cracked up and became fragile and the, the pipe was looking through there and yeah, so it has been has been holding up for a couple of years, so um, it's probably okay. This is the really cheap material. I think one of these are a couple of bucks, prob uh, probably four bucks. The new stuff that I got was, um, yeah, over 10 bucks, 10, 10, 12 bucks. So I hope that will be good for a bit longer, but well, we'll see. I want to share something that uh, I got in the mail. I got an envelope and um, I had no idea who this was from. So I um, unwrapped it and this was from, this one's from Lars. And Lars wrote me that um, he had stolen this from his Lenovo salesperson after buying a stack of X240 M5s. So, uh, what was in the envelope? A featured spinner with a Lenovo logo on it. So, thank you Lars for, for sending this. I did post this on Twitter because I thought it was pretty cool. And I did also tag Lenovo on it. I don't think their new marketing manager is not as good as the old one. She was very nice and always replied to me, but the new one doesn't do as much. Yeah, I think they make better servers than frigid spinners. So I'm gonna be going up there and fixing the other one another day. And we'll be back with uh, another server video Monday. I do believe that we are gonna be having a look at the at at the Hewlett Packard Enterprise server and that's gonna be the DL560 generation 10 and you'll probably see that Monday I guess so we'll, well, that's not my brand but I'm gonna show it to you anyway so here is the Lenovo it just keeps spinning thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye